Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith, I'm an EEG technologist. If you're unfamiliar, I put wires on patients' heads and record their brain activity, and it's best for patients who have seizure or epilepsy disorders. So one thing that I did was super cool was I tested out a high density EEG cap. It was really interesting. If you guys are unfamiliar with uh, like high density EEG, so regularly we use the 1020 system, which is between 20 and 30 electrodes, depending on you adding in the EKG electrodes, T1 and T2, which is good for detecting uh, temporal lobe abnormalities, which is where a lot of seizures happen. So between around 30 electrodes max, but if you wanna do high density EEG, you can have over 100 electrodes on the patient at one time. So if you're new to EEG, you may be wondering, well, what's wrong with the 20 to 30 electrodes in the regular 1020 system? What's wrong with that? Why, why do you need over 100 electrodes, Jared? Well, the reason for doing this is because in some patients who have epilepsy disorders, uh, the medicines that the doctor prescribed, they're not gonna work, and that's in about one third of patients. So most of the time, medicines can control and help patients be seizure free, or at least control their seizures enough so that it's livable. But in the patients where the medicines aren't working, well, we have to explore other options, or the doctor has to give them other options. And options may include a responsive neurostimulator, which is electrodes implanted on the brain, which will stimulate the brain and kind of stop the seizure. Another thing you can do is have a neurosurgeon actually resect the seizure focus area, and that sometimes can make patients seizure free. It's amazing. It's amazing what we can do with modern technology. So in order to find this exact seizure focus area before the neurosurgeon goes in and does the surgery, you're going to do pre-surgery workup. And that's where this 100 plus electrode cap comes in, this high density EEG. So the, the patient is going to be in the epilepsy monitoring unit with over 100 electrodes on their head for probably about four hours, could be longer too, depending on how long it takes to capture an event. So with having that many electrodes, the neurologist and neurosurgeon are able to localize exactly where in the brain the epilepsy is coming from and which part to take out. So if someone's taken out a part of your brain, you wanna make sure they're taken out the exact right spot, wherever that happens to be. So if your seizure focus happens more on the top of the brain, these electrode caps are really useful. EEG records mostly activity that happens in the top of the cortex. You can't really record that well of the deeper brain structures, so we have another thing for that. So in patients who have more deeper brain structure epilepsy problems, we use what is called stereo EEG or invasive electrodes. It's kind of like, like putting a needle into the brain, sticking it in, and it has different contact points all across the needle and the doctor is able to see exactly how deep and where exactly in the brain the epilepsy is coming from. So by using this cap with over 100 electrodes, the doctor is able to find out exactly where the seizure focus is and relay that information to the neurosurgeon. Also combine other neuroimaging scans like MRI, CAT scans, stuff like that to help make the best decision possible and know exactly where in the brain to resect in order to stop the epilepsy that the patient is having. So if you don't have one of these high density EEG caps with over 100 electrodes, you can still do pretty well with the regular 1020 system, but it's really not as accurate. But if that's all you got, make sure you're very specific with your measurements. Make sure you measure every single time. Some people, if they get experience in this field, they'll just start eyeballing it because they memorize all the spots but you really want to be very specific with your measurements especially with pre-surgery candidates like that in the epilepsy monitoring unit you don't want to be off like six or seven centimeters from the spot that it's actually supposed to be just because you eyeballed it and didn't measure so because everybody's head is different so measuring is very important especially for pre-surgical candidates in the epilepsy monitoring unit so that's my public service announcement make sure you guys measure don't get lazy especially for these pre-surgical candidates they really need your help and that's our job as eeg technologists to make sure they get the best care possible don't be lazy do your work be happy about it i mean you're not going to be happy every day at work but just try to come in with a smile. I do, I try to every single day, even when I'm not feeling my best, just do the best you could do 
And so yeah, that's just my experience testing out this new high density EEG cap. We're gonna start using it in our hospital and that way we'll be able to provide better care to our pre-surgical candidates in the epilepsy monitoring unit. So I'm really happy about that, excited. I got to see a new piece of technology and just wanted to share it with you guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. It really helps out a lot. Uh, I love you guys. I will see you guys on the next video.